Dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor. I am a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. And today we are continuing our topic of vitamins and it's a third uh, water-soluble vitamin called niacin or nicotinic acid and B3. Let's start. Vitamin B3 is found in many foods um, like rye bread, like buckwheat, uh, beans, um, mango, pineapple, meat, liver, eggs, rice and very high source of vitamins uh, of B group is yeast. I talked about yeast uh, in previous video. This vitamin is also called PP vitamin, Pellagra preventive. Pellagra is the classical form of vitamin B3 deficiency when there are three Ds diarrhea, gut problems, dermatitis, skin problems, and dementia, problems with neurosystem with brain. What are the reasons of uh, deficiency of B3? First of all, of course, it's a bad diet, poor nutrition. Second is high needs, as like, uh, for example, kids who are growing, pregnancy, uh, sometimes severe infections, trauma, um, after surgeries when the person really needs a lot of vitamins, lots of energy. And uh, the other reasons are um, the problems with absorption because it's well absorbed in the small intestine, but if there are any problems with the gut, then it can be absorbed poorly. For example, uh, if there are some problems with uh, uh, stomach, maybe Crohn's disease, maybe some surgeries uh, with removal of the gut, uh, maybe celiac disease, chronic diarrhea. That's why if you have some risks, you can always uh, talk to a doctor and ask if you need any supplements. When do we use vitamin B3 as the supplements or even as a injections? Mm, you already understand if you have some risk factors, if you have gut problems, if you are in high need, for example, maybe you have neuropathy uh, or you have a severe infection. Also, if you have any uh, problems with blood vessels, when the blood is, uh, when the vessels are in spasm or atherosclerosis, when the tissues, for example, extremities, they don't get enough blood, they can get pain or they can get uh, the chronic ulcers or uh, brain ischemia when the brain is not getting enough blood. The other is uh, hyperlipidemia when the fats of the blood are high. Then uh, we can use high doses of nicotinic acid, but it has some side effects. Because the doses are high, the prostaglandin D2 will be released and it may cause some facial flushing, it may cause some drop in blood pressure, it can cause itching of the skin, nausea, vomiting. Also, they may be increased in blood sugar and uric acid. So be careful if you have diabetes or you have gout. And dear friends, that's all for today. Hope it was useful for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.